We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out all the Takashi69 fans who enjoy my videos on Takashi69. And you guys have been encouraging me to do more videos on Takashi69. So that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing y'all some Takashi69 tea, okay? So what's going down with Takashi 69 is that right now he's been in the Dominican Republic for the past week shooting a music video. He's been walking around giving money to underprivileged kids and people in the Dominican Republic. Go ahead and check out this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm in DR right now shooting my new music video GD. I always thought I knew what was the meaning of being poor. Till I got to DR and it showed me and gave me a realization of what being poor really was. Daniel, mira. Estos niños. Estos niños son del barrio mío. No existe todo. Son muy pobres. All right, so you guys just saw that video 6ix9ine out there in the Dominican Republic, you know, being a nice person, giving out money, looking out for the kids and everything else. But one person, honey, says she is not moved by his jester, and she basically went in on him. And that person I'm talking about is his baby's grandmother, okay? So basically, she took to Instagram and she stated that Takashi's a deadbeat. He's not taking care of his child. He can be out here giving money to, you know, kids on the street, but you can't take care of your own child in your household. Man. Give that to you and your sister. Give it to you and your sister. No problem. So she went in. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she wrote about Takashi. Check this out. So Takashi's baby's grandmother says, First off, I would like to dedicate this post to the most weakest nigga who calls himself 6ix9ine, the king of New York. Instead of you worrying about other people's kids on the other side of the world, you should be taking care of your first. While you're sleeping in five-star hotels with dick-sucking sleazy bitches like Lisa Ah. You promise to take care of them and, of course, cause friction between my daughter and me. Although with all of that, my daughter has a family that very much loves and supports her regardless. And guess what? We do it for your daughter, too. We've been doing it since the moment conceived, you fuck. We gave you many chances and hopes you do right by them. It's okay. Me and my husband at Kazi Mayhem and the family will continue to do what we do. I have held back for many months, giving you the benefit of the doubt to be a father. But at the end of the day, your daughter calls my husband dad. You could fool the world, but I know the real. You're a pussy, your balls may hang, but my invisible dick is bigger. I hope you really keep doing what you do. Stay successful in your career, cause kids are expensive. This is what you get for fucking with my family. Next time you know better when you humiliate someone's daughter. P.S. Stop swearing on my granddaughter because she ain't the center of your world as she is to us. Since you love attention, I guarantee you to get at least two mil with this post. And I'll keep praying for you, asshole. Then she goes ahead and she tags at Industry Beef, at Vlad TV, at 6 9 at Treyway Entertainment, at Lisa, hashtag exclusive clout, at See the God, at, <laughs> at Academics, hashtag 6 9 hashtag Takashi 6 9 well, damn, okay, tell us how you really feel, Grandma. I wonder where all this energy was when her daughter brought home My Little Pony, because had he came into my house and I had a daughter, I'd be like, nope, you need to go right back to hell where you came from, okay? But with that being said, I don't know if that's really the grandmother, you know, writing that, or if that's his baby's mother. The way she's writing, the way her sentences are written, you know, the way she's carrying herself, that sounds like a scorned baby's mother. That does not sound like a grandmother. I don't understand why the grandmother would, you know, would be that pressed and, you know, bringing up, you know, Instagram thoughts and all types of stuff like that. I don't think that that's his child's grandmother at all. 
I think that that's his baby's mother because the way she popped off, she sounded like a scorned baby mama, okay? Let's keep that all the way 100. And then the fact that she literally hashtagged the entire, you know, social media and was adding people and hashtagging it, it shows that, yes, she's a clout chaser. Yes, she's looking for attention. But when it comes down to it, I don't think no grown woman in her 50s or 60s wrote that damn post, okay? That post gives me baby mama tease, okay? So anyways, in other Takashi 6 9 news, if you guys do not know, 50 Cent is basically co-signing Takashi 6 9 as the king of New York. They appeared on each other's Instagram pages recently. He was giving Takashi props and saying that he's the new king of New York. And then he wrote this post on Instagram. Check this out. What's up, man? I mean, we yeah, here, man. This is yeah. the real New York City, man. Tell them what you, you running. What Tell them what you running. New York moms, right? <laughs> Tell them what you running. <laughs> New York's <laughs> mom, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? And we ain't wearing no gloves. They know, they know us. <laughs> <laughs> This is exactly what they did at one. I apologize. The streets are gonna be Come on, man. This is what wasn't supposed to happen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. That means better watch out, man. Come on, man. I got the crippy with me. Y'all know how, when y'all see us, we ain't wearing black gloves no more. You know what I'm saying? It's got me in a good office and shit. You feel me? Yeah. 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 How yeah. you gonna say you went to New York and you ain't here? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. What he said again? How you gonna what say you went to New York and you ain't here, man? Come on, man. Yeah, you came to New York. Yeah. What's up, man? Check that shit, man. Come on, man. Huh? You wanna take it back home? Nah, nah. It's the unit. They got a home for us at the unit. They got a home for gangsters here. All right, so you guys just saw that post that 50 Cent wrote on Instagram. You guys saw the video of him and Takashi. So now after that went viral, the game also has something to say. The game is not here for this union between 50 Cent and Takashi 6 9 So this is what the game had to say about Takashi. So the game goes on to Revolt TV's post and he says this. Hashtag bad bitch alert. LOL, we see you princess. Toes gripping the Traventine. She's locked in looking like a single mother on a girl's trip. All she's missing is the tummy tea. Softer than Martha Stewart's face cloth. All right, so that's what the game had to say about Takashi. So you can definitely tell, like, there's still friction. And I feel like the only reason why 50 Cent is involving himself again with Takashi is to try and throw shade at the game because he knows the game and Takashi are currently beefing right now. I don't understand why 50 Cent is always surrounding himself with, like, the latest, youngest rappers. He did the same thing with Soldier Boy. Then he did the same thing with Chief Keef. And now he's over here co-signing Takashi. Once again, 50 Cent is just looking for attention. And he's going to get that any way he can can okay so now last but not least about Takashi 69 so he was recently caught FaceTiming with Offset's supposed baby mother Selena Powell you guys know this week I talked about this where she was going off on social media and saying that she had her baby and she's saying that Offset is the father and she's demanding a DNA test well, now she's taking to social media and she's being extra messy and she's splashing more tea and she's showing pictures of her FaceTiming Takashi and she even posted a video of their conversation and basically he's asking her, when is she going to be in New York? Go ahead and check this out really quick. Yeah, that's true. So when can you come? Well, how long are you going to be in New York for? Because I can leave like next week. Like, wait, what day is it? Yeah, I live in Denver. Oh, uh, when I tell you, I'm so tired of Selena Powell. Bitch, didn't you just have a baby two weeks ago, okay? So two weeks ago, she just had a baby, but yet and still, she's ready to bust it wide open, okay? The doctor recommends that you let your coochie heal for six weeks, okay, after you have a child. Let them damn stitches heal up. Let them dissolve properly before you fly your ass to New York to go fuck Takashi 6 9 okay? Takashi better watch out because as crazy as she is, she'll be trying to get pregnant by him next, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So that's all the Takashi 6 9 tea I have for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything. What do you guys think about the baby's grandmother popping off? Do you believe that that was really his baby's grandmother popping off? Or do you agree with me that that sounded more like his baby's mother? And then how do you feel about 50 Cent co-signing him? And then the game responding? And then last but not least, how do you feel about him and Selena Powell basically talking on FaceTime? And she's even entertaining the idea of flying to New York to go, you know, hook up with him. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.